Chris has a gluten-free diet has to be bland, boring, and time-consuming. In his new cookbook, Quick Fix Gluten-Free, Chef Robert Landolfi shows us that the once taboo foods are no longer off-limits. And Chef Landolfi is here to show us how to make a tilapia dish with a cream sauce. It smells delightful already. It's going to be delicious. Welcome back to the Thank show. Thank you very much. So I think we should talk a little bit about how you got into the gluten-free cooking. Sure. Well, I did go to culinary school. Okay. Um, when my wife was diagnosed in the year 2000, I have to be honest with you, I didn't know a thing about it. Um, so I started doing research, and mm -hmm. I said, you know something? To restore your health, I'm going to learn how to master the gluten-free cuisine. That's true. And I did it. And like I said, we had the first book. did very well. Um, we, we just wrote, finished the second book. Um, I traveled the country. And, and this, what's great about this book is there's a story behind many of the recipes. Okay. Many of the people I met, there was a woman from Iowa who liked corn dogs. And she loved getting corn dogs at the fair. So I created a gluten-free corn dog for no her. No kidding. Yeah, this That's particular great. recipe today is actually a woman emailed me. And she said her daughter was a very picky eater. Mm -hmm. And she wanted her to eat fish. And so I, I said, okay, well, give me a list of some of the snacks she likes to eat. And she said, well, she loves pretzels. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, there you well, go. there are some gluten-free pretzels out there. Um, and so what I did was I said, I took that, and that's what we're going to use today as our crust on the tilapia. All right, well, let's get okay. started. What we're going to do is we're going to do our cream sauce first. Okay, just get that going. We're going to put a little bit of butter in here. Okay. And some shallots. If you didn't have shallots, you could actually use... Um, Onions, which is fine. I just like shallots because they're a little more delicate. They're not okay. as harsh. Okay, we're going to get that right in there. Then what you're going to do is after this melts down a little bit, what you're going to do is we'll take a little bit of white wine. All right. Okay? And you want to just pour about a quarter cup in there. You're eyeballing it. I'm eyeballing it. You <laughs> You've know? done this once or twice. The rest we're going to drink with the dish. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> it sounds like a plan. And then we're going to put a little bit of Dijon mustard in there. And if you didn't have Dijon mustard and you, know, you had honey mustard in your fridge, that would work fine as okay. well. Okay. Okay, so we'll put that in there. And then we would mix that up, and then what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of cream. And do you have this on medium or low? I have it at about medium heat. Okay. Okay. And we're going to get our cream in there, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to let it reduce. Okay, we want this just to thicken up, so just let it go. A little pinch of salt. About how long till we know pepper. that it's uh... Probably about three or four minutes. Okay. Okay. Now what I have over here is this is the dish we're going to, we're using tilapia today. Okay. Um, you said earlier you've never had tilapia. No, but okay. it, you said it's really not a, a fishy fish. It's not a fishy uh, fish. It's, it's farm-raised, real clean, almost like a cod or a farm-raised catfish. So a white fish, right? Is a white fish. It's not like catfish that you caught down in the uh, Louisiana right. bayou, not like the bayou. you said. <laughs> exactly. It's real clean. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to encrust it. Right here, we're using some white rice flour. We're going to put that in there. We're going to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And you okay. can just mix that together. Sure thing. Okay, and that's what we're going to coat the fi fish with first. Right now, here. I'm assuming this is special flour. That's, that's white right? rice flour, white exactly. Rice. Okay. Um, what you're going to find is, you know, when you're learning gluten-free cooking, you're going to be using white rice flour, brown rice flour, sorghum. There's so many different gluten-free options out there. Okay. And what I like about the white rice is it's very neutral, clean tasting. You just whisk that together. Sure. We added a little mustard that's to these eggs. That's just a little bit of mustard and eggs. All this right. right here is actually these gluten-free pretzels. Feel free to try one. And what I did is I just put them through a food processor. Or you could easily smash them with a hammer and a ziplock. You could do that's that. normally you know, what that I works. do. Yeah, if you want to take out your aggression, that's fine. <laughs> and then we're just going to put some gluten-free breadcrumbs in here. Okay. And a little bit of onion powder. Okay, and we're just going to mix that up. Just like so. I'm assuming the frying pan is hot and frying we're going to hot, bread so these. We're going to do. We're put a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay. A little bit more butter. And then I'm going to have you... Am I getting your hands? Oh, no. All right, go right so into first, the flour. Flour first? Yep, right into the flour first. All right. I'll let you do the flour. I'll do the, I'll do the part that's going <laughs> to stick right, to I'll hold on to the fork then. All right. Now this is going in the egg? Go right into the egg. And what the flour does is just helps the egg adhere to it. See? Okay. Oh, okay. See, so it just gets a nice coating on there, okay? We're just going to let that drip off for a second. Go right into our mixture of pretzels. Go back and forth. Back and forth. Just kind of shake it off and go... Well, this doesn't right smell in. fishy at all, so that's oh, really no, a really good indication that it's i uh, I'm making a mess. I'm sorry. That's all right. I forgive you. <laughs> we'll put you on pots later. All right. So that's good. That goes right in like that. We'll just coat both sides. Okay. And again, you know, I'm using pretzels here. You know, I've, I know I've used potato chips before. You know, we talked earlier, um, you can use cereals. In this case, though, I, I like the idea of the mustard and the okay. pretzel. It just kind of works together. Now, Chef Robert, you have some book signings in Connecticut coming I up. I do. I have a book signing at the um, University of Connecticut Co-op Bookstore. That's going to be in September. And then I have one in October at the Nature's Grocer. Oh, we have all that information on your screen. Now you'll have your cookbook on hand for people? Yep. And then I'll be touring the country. I'll be actually in San Diego 
uh, Minneapolis, Maryland, and Boston over the next couple months. Hi, so, busy guy. Hey, I have to be. And then <laughs> well, what we'll do is, so yes. look at this. See the sauce? That's what it's going to look like. So oh, that's it's going nice to thicken up cream. a little bit. It's going to thicken up and it's going to reduce down. Now, would you put that right on top of the fish or is it more well, for dipping? What I dipping? did is I put some on the side, mm -hmm. okay? But then what I would do is I would actually just, you know, just drizzle a little bit over the top too, just for fun. You know what I mean? And, and what I'm doing is this is almost like a version instead of using tartar sauce or something like that. I see. Now, let me, how do we know when the fish is done? What you want to do is you want to cook it till it's golden brown. It only takes a couple minutes on each side. Okay. Okay, so as soon as it's golden brown on, just flip it over, golden brown on the other side, right off. Problem is a lot of people overcook fish. They don't realize that, especially a thin piece of fish like this doesn't take a lot of time. Okay. And so you want it to, you'll also know it's done. If you flip it over and you're going, uh-oh, is it done, is it done? If you just take a fork and just kind of press on it, if it kind of just pulls apart, ah, take it right so out of the pan. So it's a quick and easy gluten-free dinner. Quick and easy gluten-free dish. That's all right. It. Of course, we'll have the recipe on our website, WTNH.com. You can find it there. And you can stay to the end of the show because I know we're all going oh, to want to taste this. No problem. All right. Terrific. Coming up next, we are going to be talking with the founder of RU Dents, an organization committed to the early detection and screening of breast cancer. That's when Connecticut Style returns. Don't go anywhere.